Did the ancients believe in a flat earth or a spherical earth? Actually, I think it's fairly easy to demonstrate that using common sense and logic, they would not have thought of the earth as flat, but as a sphere. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Actually, I got the idea of this a few years back when I was doing some traveling. I got up around 4 o'clock in the morning and headed out on I-70 heading due west. Of course, it was dark outside, stars were out, and the moon was directly in front of me as I was driving. I kept watching the moon, and lo and behold, I was witnessing an eclipse of the moon. Of course, that made sense because directly behind me was the sun coming up. And therefore the earth was right in between the sun and the moon. In addition, that shadow that was going down the moon was moving at about the same speed as the sun moves. Another piece of evidence the ancients would have had to understand that that shadow was being cast by the earth from the light of the sun. Well, I saw the shadow of the earth on the moon and that got me thinking about how the ancients would have understood that shadow. Here we have the earth, it's flat. This is a flat earth. Okay, let's bring in the moon. Now as the sun rises the shadow of the earth that would be cast on the moon would be like a slice, a line. It was pretty obvious that the shadow that I was seeing coming down the moon was the shadow of the earth because I knew the sun was directly behind me. And that shadow did not look like a line. Instead it looked like a disk. Now as the sun rises, the shadow of the earth cast onto the moon is going to be thin, like a flat earth. Even if it had a rounded bottom like, say, a bowl, you would still see a shadow that looked like a bowl. The only way to get the shadow that we see on the moon would be from a disk. So if we tilt that flat earth up, we now have a disk that can cast the shadow on the moon that looks like a disk. However, the problem you can see here is, is that you wouldn't be able to see the moon anyway because the earth would be blocking your view of the moon. So this doesn't work either. The only possible way to see the moon as well as a shadow of the earth that's in a disk shape would be if the earth was a sphere. And here we see exactly what we have in an eclipse or a partial eclipse with the sun rising and the shadow of the earth passing through the moon. Now I'm not a scientist and I'm not an astronomer so I apologize for some of my technical errors in this video but hopefully I think it demonstrates that the ancient man probably understood that the earth was a sphere based on the lunar eclipses.